Ah, Casa. So that was the friend that Spectre was talking about. Well, he never actually used the word friend, but yeah, I guess so. It's kind of ambiguous as to whether or not Spectre actually has any of the other monkeys, you know, best interests at heart, or if he's merely manipulating their simple-mindedness to be able to, you know, you know, pull off his evil ambitions. Really, I'm leaning more towards the latter. He, I really don't think he cares about the other monkeys at all. He just likes having an army. Either way, our adventure is far, far, far from over. Where are we going next? Castle Frightmare! Oh, dear. That can't be good. Oh, and we gotta capture eight monkeys! That's a lot of monkeys. I'm not sure I'll be able to pull it off. Except I do, because I have to. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's do this crazy thing. Nah, man, this place is too spoopy for me. I ain't digging it. Alright, let's see if there's any monkeys immediately around us. Does not appear so. However, I also see boxes all over the place. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say that there's probably one hiding somewhere around here. Either way, Natalie, what's the biz? Monkeys wearing the white pants have very poor vision. I see. They hardly notice you even when you approach them. Oh. Be careful, though. They will throw bombs at you. Well, if they have terrible eyesight, I imagine their aim can't be very good either. Alright, that's a pretty sound strategy in my book. Let's see here. Hello, is there perhaps maybe somebody in here? <laughs> oh, your hiding skills will not save you this day. Hello, what's up? Virgil, I've seen you! Okay, not entirely sure what the joke in that one is, if there even is one, but regardless! You shall be caught like so many others. And you and your freaking shield! It doesn't work! Seriously, ugh. Anyway, I want the monies! Thank you very much. Any other boxes around this place? Nope. All right. Very well. All that was here was merely Virgil, and I found him very easily. Into the castle we go! All right, what are we dealing with here? We got Viv. Here, this bomb's for you. You're apparently dense, huh? All right, that's interesting. So, you've got terrible vision, huh? Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I just made a... Uh, a very rude joke at your expense. Either way, get in, the, get in my net. There we go. I even missed and he wasn't able to get away. Wow. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I mean, I can't really mock the poor creature. I mean, for the love of all of us, he's, he's essentially blind. That's just not a nice thing to do. Anyway, hello. Jumpy. What, what was that noise? Oh, you're one of them little cowardly monkey types, eh? And then we got <laughs> Monk Quixote. I hate windmills. I don't get the joke, but I'm sure there is one there. Alright, let's just, uh... Oh, we've got floating chairs. Okay, that's a little strange. Not sure what kind of crazy monkey magic is going on around these parts, but I'm pretty sure this is a weird application for them. <laughs> and again, I guess the white monkeys are known for being smart, as, they, as smart as they are blind, and I fell off the chair! Oh, crikey dingo, how... How clumsy of me! All right, let's try this again. A little bit more zest in your fest and a mess in your crest. There we go. Let's see. There should be somebody right here. Oh, it's 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 Monk Quixote. Very well. Let's see. Ah, candle owls! Candle owls! Why candle owls? That makes no sense. Okay, get out of my house. Okay, it's not my house, admittedly. It's probably it's probably more your house than anything else. But still, I don't appreciate you trying to attack me. Wow, really? Van, where did he go? Okay, see, I get that joke. Uh, I appreciate the effort, but, uh, that's a really terrible disguise. Oh, hello, I guess I gotta smack him out of it first. Womp! There we go. <laughs> uh, these monkeys are definitely getting a bit more clever, though. I gotta give it to them there. At least they're trying to implement some form of disguises. If he just hid behind the painting and didn't make it obvious a monkey was under there, then that would have been something else. Anyway, freaking monkey and... Armor? Where'd you even get a set of tiny monkey-shaped and sized armor? That doesn't make any sense. And why are there giants swinging golden bananas? Was this place monkey-themed beforehand, or is this a new addition when the monkeys came in? Because that implies some extraordinarily impressive engineering that I was unaware they were capable of. Anyway, get out of here, whatever you are. Hello, hello, what's all this? Ah! 
Uh, okay. Uh, here's a question. Actually, here's several. Uh, first and foremost, why does this guy have a bed inside a cuckoo clock? Secondly, is that just what it does whenever it strikes midnight? Because that seems like an incredibly inconvenient thing for a bed to do. Like, if at midnight every single day, my bed launched itself through the roof of my house, I, uh, I'd question why I didn't decided to implement that technology. Either way, Dynamo! He is very sleepy. Very well. Okay, then it shouldn't be very hard to catch you then. Alright, hippity boppity bippity boppity boom bang boom bang bang! Okay, he has explosives. He has explosives! Why does he have explosives? Oh my goodness. I didn't even notice you were a white pants monkey. Okay, alright. I am near death. That's not good. That's not good at all. Alright, come on. You are a danger to yourself and others! Oh, okay. They can't make any argument for me catching that one, okay? He was gonna hurt somebody. And he already hurt me. I mean, come on. Sheesh. Okay. So, what do you want to bet there's a monkey hiding out in one of these here coffins? Let's find out. Hello? Oh, wait, over there we've got one named Pierce. I'm so scared I wet my armor. Aw, oh, that's gonna rust it. Gross. Let's see. Ah, sounds to me like there might be one here. Yep, howdy. What's your name? Count Moncula. Fang you very much. Okay, well, that's very cute. And I enjoy your punmanships, good sir. But I'm gonna need you to... Yep. I'm gonna need you to cease and desist with your monkeying about before I inevitably get hit by another bomb. Because it's gonna happen. It will happen. Come on. Come on. Get in the net. Get in the net. Come on. There we go. Whew. Got him on the backswing. Whew, boy. Okay. The problem with Count Monkula is it just sounds like he's, you know, a count and also a monk. Which I'm not sure if you can be both of those things at the same time, but I guess it's not impossible. I don't see any reason why there can't be someone who is a count and a monk, but at the same time, it seems like a weird combination. Anyway, hello. I would very much like to browse your wares, if you don't mind. Where's my burrito? Ugh, awful. Okay, fine. Better right off the monkey's weird refrigerator. Why is there a refrigerator next to all these coffins? I don't even want to know. And maybe Midnight Snack, maybe the coffins are just being used as beds, and they just put food there so they can always have it if they need it. I don't know. Is, are you the... Yep, you're the pants wearer. All right. Hello, good sir. Okay, now I'm dead. Thanks, Pippa G. Come on. Okay, yep. All right. Okay, thank you. Yeesh. Seriously. What kind of monkey has armor? Very, very unnecessary. Oh, hang on. Lots of the moolahs. Then we smack down this thing and boom. Now we can go back that way. Which is all well and good and awesome and whatnot. However, there are monkeys still to be caught in this area. At least I'm relatively certain of this fact. Just gotta hop up here. Let's see. Oh, hello. Appears to be a monkey grave. 1999-2002. Ah, the date's the first and second game. Very clever. Very clever! All right, let's see. What's inside this monkey tomb? Ah, oh, monkey's eating a giant banana. Of course. <laughs> Nana has tasted the forbidden. Okay, that's a little weird. And... Okay, no, that's Nana. I want the other one, though. Nana and who? There's another monkey clearly right next to it. Hot, hi, there we go. Monkey maniac! Also, I can't help but notice that that is very clearly not an actual banana, so I'm not sure how they're eating it. I guess maybe they maybe they're like one of that that one guy who was able to eat an entire plane. I don't know. Either way, I caught Nana. Hide. You get to enjoy the banana for a little while longer, but I will be back to get you. Oh, let it be known that I will go and get you. Nice job. Thank you, Natalie. Always offering the kind support. 